Hello everyone, welcome back to this new episode of the 64 base CTF challenge. We've been able to gain a remote code execution on the web application or the web server using a protected path that exposed a command shell. And today we're going to dig deeper and see how we can leverage this to get a comfortable shell and maybe become root. Let's get started. If you're interested in pursuing an ethical hacker career, then I encourage you to head over to academy.thehackerish.com. There you will find online courses that you can enroll to and just find a suitable course for you. It should give you a great start. So what else can we run? Because this is a PHP application, we can use also pass through. Yep, we get the same results. Uh, what about the commands? So if I type ls, indeed I get access to the listing of the current directory. If I type pwd, oh, I get nothing. Okay, what could be the error? So let's redirect that to std output. Let me know in the comments why I've used percent %26 and the first who is going to respond with the correct answer, we'd get a shout out from me in the upcoming videos. So we don't have any errors. That's a bummer. What are the environment variables? Nothing. Uh, what can we do? Um, cat the login.php file. Nothing. Okay, it seems like this. Uh, is a broken shell, it doesn't, or there's some kind of filtering going on. Um, let's try cat, but you know what? I'm going to play with it in burp. That would be better. So let's go to proxy, take the last command, send it to the repeater and start playing with it. So instead of ID, I'm going to type cat and, uh, you know, let's just run PWD. And as expected, we get no response. And uh, if I encode that, right click, convert selection URL, convert all characters and send. Hmm, we get nothing back. If those commands don't work, I mean, netcat also wouldn't work, I guess. Hmm. This is the netcat you are looking for? <laughs> okay, that's funny. So netcat <laughs> returns a ASCII art, so we wouldn't be able to run uh, like maybe a reverse shell. What about Python? Well, Maybe we can use which to find if Python is there. I'm just trying to see if we can uh, get a reverse shell. Um, get nothing, so maybe which doesn't work. Perl. Nothing. What about running just Perl like that? Hmm. So you see, even though this is a CTF challenge, uh, there are a lot of common actions that a hacker does in a real situation, like in a real penetration test or a bug bounty uh, session. It's all about tr trying to figure out a way to leverage seemingly vulnerable features using fuzzing, using different trial and error. This is just part of the process. So um, let's see. Let's see if we can... Uh, turn our attention to other services. It's lo it looks like we hit a dead end here. Let's not forget that we have a flag and generally in uh, this uh, CTF challenge, all the flags had some hints and now it's just uh, how we should use it. Because this is a uh, challenge called Base64 and throughout the entire process, we used Base64 every time, so Maybe we can echo that and base64 encode it and use it as a password. Why not? Okay, let's copy it. Um, try with SSH using that user. 
and let's cross our fingers, paste the password. Oh, okay, we land on the box using SSH as the user base 64. Oh, ID doesn't work, our bash. Uh, okay, so it seems like we are in a restricted shell. Environment. Shell being R bash. Oh, bummer. Okay, we need to do some kind of bypass. Okay, that's what we're going to do in the next video. Stay tuned. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow it. And let's see you in the next video. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.